Hello guys, so in this video we will be going to see how we can deploy a fast API application on AWS EC2 machine and then after we can expose it using AWS API gateway. Okay, so what I have done till now I have just created an EC2 machine like uh, I, I've, I haven't made any changes inside it. I have just created this so that this video would be shorter. In the next uh, tab, basically I have opened the uh, a basic uh, fast API application that can be run on EC2. So I will be using this code only uh, to uh, run on the EC2. Okay, so I will connect this. So as a first step, uh, I will be going to like just copy this code and create a file here. After that, I will be going to uh, install fast API. So I have created the uh, main.py file. Then after I am going to install fast uh, API. Okay, I think uh, as it is fresh EC2 machine, like it don't have this this uh, uh, pip installed in it. So I will be just installing this pip. Okay. So meanwhile it is installing. So once it is done, I will be going to install fast API. Then after I will going to install uwin core. And then after I will uh, like just run this command to uh, basically start the fast API application. Okay. So it is it is installed now. So I will install fast API. Okay. Yeah, so it is done. Then after I will going to copy this command and run it here. Okay, so I think we have to install Unicorn Ubicon as well. So if you don't know what is Ubicon, Ubicon is just basically server we, we use we use in uh, with fast API. Okay, so we already have this copied. I will paste it and it has started the application. Okay, so there are two points to note in note here. Like this application has been started on 8000, but the issue is it is running on stdp 127.0.0.1, which is basically the internal IP address of this EC2 machine. Okay, now if you try to access this. Uh, uh, this this uh, fast API application from outside world it would not be accessible but if you try to access it from inside the EC2 machine it would be accessible right so but as of now I think we would be more interesting in uh, accessing this application from the outside world so what I will going to do I will just uh, clear this first after that I have to add a new flag in which I will add 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0 4 times 0 within the host flag okay so by defining this host flag kind of I am telling this uh, ubcon to bind it with the public IP address of this EC2 machine. Okay, so now this application would be running on 0.0. .0. Okay, now let's say if I try to access this this uh, uh, ubcon server with on 8000 port and slash docs. So this would not be getting opened. Okay, so I will explain you the reasoning. The reasoning is by default on the port 8000 any traffic would not be allowed inside this EC2 machine okay so to allow this traffic on the port 8000 what I will do I will go to this EC2 console then after go inside the security section open the security group go inside the inbound rule I will edit this inbound rule so by basically editing this inbound rule uh, kind of uh, I, I will add 8000 port here and then after 0.0.0.0 slash 0 IP. So by this rule, I am telling AWS to allow traffic from all the IPs. Okay. So if you want to allow traffic from, from your IP only, so you can select your IP as well. But if you want to allow traffic from all the IPs, you can set this 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0, .0. Okay. And uh, by defining this port, I am telling AWS to like, allow traffic from all the IPs on port 8000 only okay so if you try to access any other port other than the 8000 it would not be accessible okay so I will going to save it then after I will again retry opening it and it is it is kind of getting opened and this is working now I will try it quickly so now we get the response as well so this is the response that we that we have inside the code right message hello what right so this is this is how uh, basically we can start this this fast API application but there is there is one one issue here okay so let's see if I close this terminal and then after I again try to uh, uh, open this URL okay now you can see this this URL is not getting open the reason being is once we close that terminal 
that process get closed as well okay so to uh, to make sure that process would be running in the background so i will be uh, i will run in command to run that fast api process or application in the background okay so what i will do i will just pre written in command so if you can see we are using this command till now right so we have added no hub here so no hub is basically a module to run run any command in the background then after i am kind of redirecting all the logs inside the uvcon dot log right so any logs uh, printed by this this process would be inside this uvcon dot log and then after i am kind of uh, making it as in uh, background okay by using this so i will copy this i will go here and i will paste as plain text and then after the, yeah so now you can see this 3934 process has been started so if you see ls so we do have an uvcon dot log file as well so i will quickly open this sorry typo so now you can see the server is running on 0.0.0 .0. okay so if i try to again access it this is running let's say we try to close this ip the server is should be running again okay so this is how we have deployed this application on aws ec2 okay till now everything is good the only issue is this ip is not https which is not secure basically right this is only http okay if you can you can see this this is showing not secure okay to make it secure what we can do we can bind aws api gateway on top of this ec2 machine okay so i will quickly jump over to the api gateway console so what i will do uh, you can choose any type of api but for the and not any type actually only the rest api or http api for the timing let's go with the http api so i will click on build then after i will just add the api name fast api app and then after i will click on next 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 all the keeping all the configuration as default and then after created okay i hope you got the significance of having this api gateway like we wanted to make this this ip as in secure right so for that perspective what i will going to do we will be going to like once we are done this api create we will be going to create a route here okay now aws api gateway provide an interesting thing here okay so what you can do the ideal way or maybe uh, the people usually use what they do is they just go inside their uh, fast api application i will quickly again connect it and just will show you the main.py file so we do have a single route only here okay so let's say we do have thousands of route okay in that case what what uh, usually people do we will they will create get api slash name get user in that way okay so they let's say if you are if you have thousands of apis you have to define thousands of the route here and you have to manage that but to make it more easier aws api gateway provides a proxy route as well okay so proxy route is basically forwarding you can consider it as an forwarding so any request that api gateway gets that is basically going to forward that request directly to your ec2 machine okay you don't have to create one to one mapping for that perspective okay so i will going to show you so let's select any route so by selecting any route we are telling if request is get post put any method you we just need have to uh, forward that request to ec2 only right so here we have to select prox right proxy plus okay so by telling this by base we are basically configuring this api gateway only and then after we have to create it okay so now uh, we have defined route then after we have to add integration so by integration like if 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 api gateway got this request right so what 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 will do this api gateway okay so this way we will be going to define in the integration so we have to create a new integration so our target will be only http uri only right so for http uri i will be copying this this public ip address and we have to enter a public valid url okay so i will type http slash a port 8000 and after that i we have to add proxy here okay so again kind of what we are telling ki, uh, that once you got any request you just have to 
send that request path to 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 this IP and uh, just appending that request path at the end. Okay. So once I think we are done with this, we can create it. So now we have defined this route. And then after we can basically go to the stages. So I will select this stage and now you I will be going to copy this and just open and then after I will slash docs. So now you can see this this API uh, fast API application is accessible on HTTPS using the API gateway. And if I going to try it out, so it will it is working again. So let's say if I wanted to uh, add a new route, okay, just for the testing perspective, right? Now this API gateway work is done. We don't have to make any change on the, on 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 this uh, uh, basically on this uh, uh, API gateway, right? So I will quickly open it okay and i will just copy it and then after i will sorry my bad i will be pasting it here so i will make a new route slash user and then after i will add message uh, add messages new api created okay and after that i will be going to just save it okay so again let's try to access this first over this um yeah so this is already here so as you can see now this this is again accessible on slash root and slash user now let's try to access this on uh, on this uh, api gateway url so now you can see this 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 new api is, is again kind of uh, we got this inside uh, api gateway url as well so now we get new api created okay so in this way basically you can add any number of apis here and all those would be accessible here right on api gateway url so this is how you can kind of uh, use api gateway to uh, kind of expose it with the help of uh, https url okay so apart from this api gateway also provide an interesting feature of adding authentication so for adding an authorization, obviously authorization is basically like as of now this API are accessible all over the public internet. Like now, like if you copy this URL and you try to access this, you would be able to access this URL, right? So if you wanted to make it more secure, like the some people only can uh, access, uh, access this URL. So we have to add authorization. So for that authorization part, I will I will be creating a new video that will be totally based on AWS API Gateway and AWS Cognito. Okay. So that's it for this video. Uh, 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 watch out the part two of this video if you are interesting in interested in this authorization. Yeah. So that's it for this. Thank you. If you have any queries or uh, uh, a feedback for me, please do post it on the comment section. Thanks.